but the Rebels victorious a couple of times on the road this past week in one game at home. It was a hot week, so to speak, for the Rebels and the way you guys performed, Coach Tarkanian. First of all, a busy week. Your busiest, really, of the season with three games, two of those on the road, crammed into, into one week. Are the guys a little weary from it all? Plus, with New Year's Eve and New Year's thrown in, it even makes the week shorter. <laughs> and, you know, we just I just got back... Uh, our plane was late getting in because of the weather, so we just got back in town right now. All right, Coach, we're going to jump right into the highlights. First of all, we're going to take a look at the Irvine highlights, a game the Rebels played Saturday night at Irvine. Sold out arena there in the Brent Event Center. You see the mascot there. Pretty good-looking power forward, perhaps, one of these days. Big guy there, huh? Melvin Love uh, with the scramble, the pass to JR. And then slams it down. The Rebels start to come back. Elmore Spencer, last couple of games, looking real good inside as he Elmore really works. was outstanding against Fullerton. He'd, yeah. had a, he'd had a real good game last night, except he missed his five free throws. On to the second half here. Elmore then, the big man dribbling the ball, going around a guy, spin move, and slams it in. And then J.R. Ryder bearing the three. The Rebels take the lead. And begin to pull away as you get a shot of the guys cheering there on the bench. And Elmore with a good outlet here. The big guy can throw the ball down court. He throws a good good outlet. And I'll tell you, Elmore, uh, he's got good court vision for a big man. And then the Rebels seal it with this shot coming up here. A nice reverse layup by Reggie Manuel. And the Rebels go on to beat Irvine 71-57. to The Rebels record now 10-2 and on the season with that victory. Then you had a tough one. At Fullerton, a, a team that uh, you guys have lost to a few times down at Fullerton. Not an easy uh, ball club uh, to play. Uh, and, a, and a team also that had played UCLA very tough on the road. Fullerton's got some great athletes. They, they have one great shooter. And I, I don't think the other guys shoot the ball real well from the perimeter. But the nights that this kid is shooting well, they're, they're capable of beating anybody. Yeah, the shooter. I'm talking about Small, the kid. Small Joe kid. Small, he can light it up. Let's take a look now shooter. at the highlights of the Rebels against Fullerton. A game played Thursday. And in the second half, Dedon Thomas was the guy at the start of the second half. Some nice passing, and Dedon's there, the point guard. Dedon again. He's going to give it up, get it back, and lay it in. And a, a great shot coming up here by J.R. Ryder, the head fake. And pumps it in. The Rebels take the lead for good, 47 to 45. And... Dexter Boney, the good pass inside to Elmore Spencer. 16 of his 20 points by Elmore Spencer in the second half. He really turned it on. And look at this move by Bobby Joyce. Spin, turn, and put it in. I'll tell you, when, we're, when we take care of the ball and use good judgment, we're a pretty good team. Into the we, game We here. do some pretty good things at times. Reverse dunk by J.R. Ryder. The Rebels win. The Rebels got busy, J.R. Ryder said. This guy's a busy guy. He got busy. The Rebels uh, had another game last Monday. It was a week ago Monday. The Rebels took on... Uh, San Diego State in the Thomas Mac Arena, Jim Brandenburg and their team coming to town here. J.R. Ryder missed that game because of an ankle injury. And there goes the, the guys out of the arena. They, uh, Brandenburg pulled his team off the court, didn't want him to watch that fireworks show before the game. But this one of the few games we started off fast. There. You guys started out with a 9 nothing lead in this game. One of the few times we've done that all year. Second half highlights now. And there goes Everett. Ever can't get a break. Fouled, lays on the ground again. He was all right, stayed in the game, of course. Dexter Boney with a steal and a rare rare slam by Boney. He doesn't slam very often. He yeah. lays it up. But he, he slammed that one in. But San Diego State came back. Pulled it within about 10 points late in the game here. Yeah, J.R. warming up. I thought we may have to use J.R. You know, Elmore had fallen out. H had fallen out. Um, um, Melvin's legs were bothering him. But Reggie Manuel came through well, with three pointers nice towards buckets. the end of the Rebels win the ball game. You see by the score there on the screen. So three games, three wins for the coach. Coach, let's talk about a couple of games that you played this, played this past week and, and a couple of victories for the Rebels. Long Beach State and Santa Barbara. This team is gelling. This team is really playing well right now. I really thought we played well in both of those games. You know, uh, Long Beach game, we, we just had, we had a real big lead in there and we really played well. But we came back last night and played maybe our best game, maybe even better than uh, the LSU game. I thought last night we were really a really good basketball team. And you played a couple of solid teams really in the Big West, both teams with eight and three records coming into the game. 
and both of them were 2-0 in league, in league play. And Santa Barbara is really a solid team, and through the years they've always given us trouble. You know, they played Ohio State to a tremendous game they did. Yeah, uh, about right. two or yeah. three weeks ago. In fact, they had every chance of winning that game. He says solid, Coach. Is that a good way to describe this team right now? They're playing like it. I like sound. I like to be sound. Sound, solid. Right. He's, he's, he's doing the job, and the team is really playing together, in spite of the fact that there have been injuries now. Just about every game for the last four or five games, you've had a major player, usually a starter, out. Because right, we injury. have Melvin uh, Love. We've had Jr. Uh, we've had uh, H. Waldman's Dexter and now H. Dexter right. and H. Yeah. So. First of all, let's talk with the coach about a couple of victories this week. Coach, you had a couple on the road against Pacific and against San Jose State. Not tough teams. Not real tough teams, especially San Jose State. But you guys, you guys made it dramatic against San Jose State, didn't you? Well, you know, we we didn't play real well against San Jose. We, I think we got our kids pretty prepared to play for Pacific. We got them up and pointed out the fact that Pacific had just beaten San Jose by 18 or 16, and then we went into Pacific and really blew them away. We, we played a great first half against Pacific and played real well, and it was really hard to get our kids up. We, we, weren't, we weren't ready to play Saturday. We were very fortunate that San Jose is not a real good basketball team. You guys should have blown them out. You, yeah, and, we, and instead, you guys were down 11 nothing in that well, game. Well, we, we got down 11 nothing, but then we had it up to 19 or 17 in the second half, and, and then we started fooling around again. You know, we, <laughs> we, tur we turned the ball over 23 times to a very, uh, to not a very good basketball team. The final score, 79-67. The Rebels were winners over San Jose State in that game played Saturday up in San Jose. J.R. Ryder, another good performance by him with 27 points. Also, you hit your free throws in this game, Coach. Well, what are you, you know, been doing the, with the, the guys? The other thing, though, I want to point out is any time you can win on the road, you have to be happy. And, you know, we won by what I think was 16 or 18 and by 12 on the road. So, uh, you know, you have to be happy when you win on the road. You can't be complaining on those guys. At Las Cruces, New Mexico, the Rebels were playing essentially what is for the Big West Conference Championship on the road against New Mexico State at Las Cruces, down by 10 points with about seven minutes left to go in the game, Coach. And you guys somehow, somehow pulled this thing off. That was really, it was a great comeback, Ron. I, I think the key thing is we hit three threes right in a row. I, inside of about a minute and a half, every kid two threes, and JR hit a three, and we were down one. and. Uh, we got some real big plays defensively. Elmore blocked a shot, and we went and turned it into a layup. And uh, it was just a great, a great victory because that was a wild place, and their crowd was going crazy when they got the lead. And uh, once, once we took control, they, they silenced in a hurry. In a hurry. Before the game, what was the attitude of the players? You had to be telling them, "This is it for you guys. This is the Big West Conference Championship, really, because because no postseason play for you as of right now." And and you had to feel like this this was your big game. Well, you know, we didn't put that kind of pressure on the kids because you know we got in there. We played Thursday night at home. We got in there late Friday evening. By the time we we got checked in the hotels about eight o'clock and eight fifteen, we left for practice. We 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 were really tired. And we didn't get much done. We practiced an hour and twenty minutes. And uh, we didn't go real hard because the kids were tired. And then we came out Saturday, and we just had an hour's practice Saturday and, and played the game. So we didn't have any chance to, do, to go over a lot of things. And, and so we, I, I tried to downplay the game to the kids because I didn't want them to feel that that was the key game because, you know, they still have to come here, and there's a lot more games to be yeah. played. Because I, I really had my doubts whether we could win that game under those conditions. i got to ask you, what happened in the coaching change there with about six minutes or so left to go in the game? Elmore Spencer and Everett Gray, you wanted Elmore to go in the game, but Everett had to go in, and Everett ended, ended up hitting some great shots. Well, I really what happened <laughs> Something was, worked out well for you there. Coach Gorgian was really coaching the team the first 34 minutes, and I took over the last six minutes. <laughs> and almost messed it up. And right, and I took over the last <laughs> six minutes, turned it all around. No, actually what happened, Ron, is, is we, I said Elmore in. I wanted to get Everett out of the game and get Elmore in get our two big guys in to try to jam the ball down low. And by the time Elmore reported in, they said it was too late. You'd have to wait till the next dead ball. Well, before the next dead ball period came, every kid hit two threes and got us right back in the game. So when Elmore went in, I made a quick change. Instead of bringing Everick out, we had Elmore go in for uh, Dexter, and we moved Everick to the wing. 
Don't move Evercat. He was hot at that point. Well, he, huh? It worked out yeah, well. That was a great move on. It was a great move on the fact that Elmore reported late. <laughs> All right. Coach, uh, the Rebels won that game on the road. The big one also a couple of other wins this past week in the Thomas and Mack Center. Let's take a look at the highlights, first of all, of the game against Fresno State, where the Rebels took on the Bulldogs. And this game, Coach, was a little bit tougher than what you ever expected it to be at the start of the game. H. Waldman came out in the second half. Rebels were down by three at halftime. H. Waldman came out and hit a couple of three-pointers to start the second half for you guys and really went to went blazing there. We're, you're, you're into the Fresno game now. Yeah, into the Fresno game, right. and then Elmore Spencer inside. Nice pass from Everett Gray. Dexter Boney with a big steal to tie the game yeah, at 43 off. I think this was a key play of the game because this steal put us ahead, and it, once we got ahead, it seemed like, like we got a little confidence, and they speeded up their game a little. Also, Dexter with a, a three-pointer, and he, he really did it down the stretch. Dexter Boney poured it on, 16 points in the game. And he had four free throws, two down the stretch. And then Melvin Love inside with a slam dunk, but still this game wasn't over. It was close down the stretch. It was the defense that really keyed it down the end. And the free throws by Dexter Boney. The Rebels go on to win by the final 58 to 50. Let's start it off with a game up in Logan, Utah. It has not been easy between you and Logan State, uh, between Utah State up in Logan over the years. You had the triple overtime game a few years ago. There was, I believe, a double overtime game here in the Thomas Mac one year. You, you guys right, we had an overtime uh, when my son Danny played. We were number one in the country. I, I think it was 83. We went there. We were down 23 to 7 early in the game and <laughs> came back. In fact, I think we made up an eight-point deficit in the last minute and a half and sent the game in overtime and won. And then, of course, the triple overtime when Freddie Banks hit the shot to send it in overtime. We've had some real tough games. Our national championship team uh, beat them there by two, and they had a shot to win it. Yeah, and they and uh, Utah State was a team this year that had won at Utah. They had beaten Rutgers, something you were not able to do. Of course, you played right. at Rutgers. But your thoughts, first of all, on this game, the way it went, it was it was really it was a tough game, a game of spurts, really, for both teams. It, it, was, it was a tough game, but you know, I I really think that we we had control of that game more than we did a lot of other ones. Like it seemed like through good parts of that game, we were eight to ten points ahead. They'd cut it and we'd get, build it back up. It just I, I think we only trailed at one time in a ball game. At least I was told that. Uh, but, uh, but still, you know, the game went right down to the wire. The kid Youngblood had a phenomenal game against us, uh, shooting the threes. And uh, uh, Elmore, Elmore Spencer had a great game. Elmore was the difference in the game. He, uh, he not only scored 27 points, but he blocked seven shots. And I don't know how many rebounds. Ten. He got yeah, ten, ten rebounds. rebounds yeah. Elmore had a great ball game. Uh -huh. 